Hey guys, what's up? It's Noah, and today I have my mommy with me. He's such a good boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be ranting about all sorts of things that people do on social media that we absolutely despise. Now, we have these conversations all the time about what we see people post on social media and it's kind of mean but at the same time it's so aggravating to see people post things that they really shouldn't i wouldn't say it's mean it's accurate it's I mean, insensitive a little insensitive maybe, but, but not mean because it's truthful but it's okay. not mean just maybe a little bit insensitive maybe a little intolerant so basically I have all of our subtopics written down in a Google Doc and we're going to be discussing each and every one of them. The first thing that we are going to be talking about is whenever people post memes and quotes, especially the kinds of quotes where they're seemingly trying to get attention from specific people like somebody in a relationship or an ex or somebody who is like stalking them on social media. You've had a lot of experience with a lot of things like this. I've had experience in the way of seeing them, not posting them. Yeah. But I see <laughs> the ones that get me. And sorry ladies, but ladies tend to be the worst. I've seen guys do it, but chicks do it the most. Where they post something like an article about how he should always chase you, he should always be pursuing you. Okay, well, just to be real, it's obvious you want your boyfriend or husband to see that because you feel he's not. I mean, let's just be truthful. You want him to see it. My question would be, how many times has that worked? Does he come back to you like, Hey, I saw that article you posted. Oh, oh my gee. gosh. So I brought you these flowers. Oh my gosh, it totally worked. It doesn't happen. He either no. doesn't see it, or he knows you want him to see it, so he's gonna intentionally ignore it. Or the, girl, then, the guys that like to post about what a good man they are and about how they keep getting overlooked. No, I can tell you right now, the guys that post that stuff, the reason they post that stuff is because they're emo, like <laughs> girl level emo. And that's probably why girls don't like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe they like you, but as a friend, I bet you find yourself in the friend zone a lot. That is not saying you don't have good things to offer. It's just saying girls aren't typically going to be attracted to girl-like emotions in a man. I've seen it recently, actually. They're posting things about being overlooked or you know, all you girls, you know, keep saying you can't find the right man, it's because maybe you're not looking at the right one. <laughs> no, don't post that stuff. You just show yourself to be emo. <laughs> and that's not attractive. Girls want manly men, and that's not manly. Just not manly to post at all. And don't pout. <laughs> like, don't get on there and pout and be like, nobody ever notices me. I die for a woman. Don't pout. That is so unattractive. The girls, guys are like, don't post things that are pouting of like. You'll never see the true wonderful woman that I am, <laughs> you know. But it's okay. I'm independent. You know, like see, that doesn't work. See, I used to be really bad about that when I was like 16 and like I first got a Snapchat. And I started posting stuff like that every single day. And some of them are still saved in my memories to where I look back and I'm like, why did I feel the need to say that? And like, I don't do it anymore, but I know a lot of people my age that do. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like you'd expect that from a middle schooler or a teenager because that's the emotional maturity level. But for a grown up, if you're independent, women, if you're independent, you really don't have to post about it. Real independent people don't have to tell you they're independent. By the fact that they don't give a crap, they're not gonna tell you. Hey, just wanna let you know, I mean, you're not even thinking about it, but it's just, you know, I don't give a crap. <laughs> like, if you don't care, then why are you telling me that you don't care? Exactly. Next thing, we have relationship statuses. Not like when you go into like a Facebook bio and it has like the single in a relationship with so-and-so and stuff like that. We're talking about like actual posts that people make where they post like, in a relationship, so happy right now. Or like, single I guess, crying emoji, heartbreak emoji. Stuff like that. I see a lot of these on Snapchat, especially in people who are in like, off again, on again relationships. Whenever they will just kind of like post back and forth and they'll go like, 
single I guess crying emoji heartbreak emoji one minute and then like five minutes later they'll get over it and they'll post about that same person and be like oh my gosh I'm so happy that I'm in this relationship I know we have our ups and downs so I'm, I'm so gonna happy. just say this if you're going back and forth that much and posting each change no offense but you should be embarrassed like <laughs> like I would be embarrassed if I kept like that that's a kind of like a pride and a dignity issue I'd be like yeah. okay single again Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no, I love him. <laughs> Single again. You should be embarrassed. You should kind of hold a little bit of that in to yourself. Only display that information when it's definite and permanent. Yeah, and even then you have to be really careful about how you go about it because a lot of people tend to do it and it's really one-sided, like they did everything wrong and I just kind of like sat here and took it like I'm the victim when usually it's kind of like that's the kind sides. of stuff for your therapist <laughs> or your diary on yeah. Facebook. Most people, it's not that they don't care about you, they don't care about that. They care about you and they care about the fact that you're hurt, but that's a personal conversation. Anybody that's getting that from social media, they're gossiping about you. Because you just gave them juicy information that they can go talk to Rachel about. Oh my god, did you see Sarah's post? Oh my gosh, no. Again. Oh really? Wait, update. Oh, no, oh. together. Wait, maybe you should refresh it and check again. Oh, no. Single. See what I'm saying? That's the conversation that's going on. There is no other conversation to be had. And that kind of segues into our next topic, which is airing dirty laundry on relationships on Facebook and all of those things. And I guess they're kind of intertwined in the, but I guess I could go ahead and expand it to not only relationships, but also like family affairs that should be kept private. You're not giving anybody any information that they're gonna use in a healthy way. They're gonna gossip or judge you. When I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see that stuff, I'm like, my first thought is, oh God. And then I just keep going. What I don't understand is like back when I first got a Facebook, I was friend with the Kardashians for a little while. I would see them go back and forth and constantly posting about like their family drama. So whenever I would see them like post stuff and go back and forth and fighting on social media, it seems like they're like middle schoolers going back and forth. Well, when it's, it's like tacky. It really is. It's just tacky and it shows a maturity level that you probably don't want to display. Don't air dirty laundry. If you got something against your ex, don't <laughs> post passive aggressive things on Facebook, especially when your ex is sitting there quietly and minding their own business. This next one is a little bit more of a mild one compared to the other ones that we've talked to, and that is Facebook game requests. Nobody plays Facebook games anymore. How many people do we know that play Facebook games? I know of two, but that's only because I've gotten those messages. But if they want to play them, that's fine. I don't care. That's their business. You know, whatever makes them happy. It confuses me when I get those those messages on like. I don't know if they're if somebody's hacked your account or if you're actually playing those games. I get them all the time and I get excited because I think somebody wants to talk to me and have a full-blown conversation. And it's just <laughs> no, that's so, you and me different. And so, I, and so it's just like, no, come play Animal Farm with me or like whatever Facebook games exist. And I'm just like, no. I have to say, you and I are complete opposites in that because <laughs> when I get a Facebook instant message, in fact, I have all alerts for Facebook Messenger turned off and I keep it that way permanently because I get so many messages in Messenger. I don't get excited when I get a notification, oh, somebody wants to talk to me. I'm like, oh God. I'm either concerned it's somebody asking me out through Facebook like it's a dating app or I've had women message me thinking that I am with their boyfriend or their ex or whoever. Guys, I don't even know or are just friends who I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole, no offense to my guy friends. <laughs> but if I wanted to date them, I'd be dating them. I don't want your man. So I had that happen, not all through Facebook Messenger, some through phone or whatever, about six times in the last three years I've had that happen. I don't want nothing to do with that. So I have Facebook Messenger alerts turned off. So if you guys ever message me through Facebook Messenger and it takes me a while, it just means because I didn't see it yet. See, I'm at the point to where I'm trying to be more open with like my direct messages because especially when it comes to like stuff with like my music and like my social media accounts, I'm trying to build a following and I'm trying to build connections. And so it's kind of necessary. But, but I don't have that, so <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> okay, so the last topic, and I feel like this one's going to get freaking juicy, is oh. selfies. Oh! 
This is so. why this one's gonna get juicy, because this is the one that gets me worked <laughs> up. I'm gonna get to the point and then we can elaborate on it. If you don't make that face to somebody in person, don't make that face. Like if I was sitting there at the table with somebody, or I saw somebody I know in public, and we're sitting there, how come I say, hey, how's you, you know, how's your family as the kids? And they looked at me and went, recent technique seems to be, I swear, it's like they're blowing, like a gentle blow, because they have this little tight, this little thing where you can barely fit a straw in there. And then they kind of squint their bottom eyes so you can't see the bags or the wrinkles. And then they kind of raise their eyebrows a little bit. And so it's like, like nobody does that. Yeah. That's my thing, nobody does that. Don't, if it's not, like just be real. I mean, what happened to smiles? It's one thing to post a selfie, maybe you're not s smiling. That's kind of bland or whatever. It's just kind of like a neutral thing. But neutral's cool, but weird and making weird, doing weird things with your face. Nobody does that. And you don't have to have a selfie for everything. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, okay, if I'm gonna post a picture for Happy Mother's Day, it's gonna be a picture of me and my kids, or me and my mama, or something like that. But I'm not gonna post a picture of just me and be like, Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. Nobody <laughs> does that! It's not, a, it shouldn't be a thing. It's a narcissistic thing where you constantly need people to be on your comments telling you, oh, you're so beautiful. If you felt beautiful, and this is not a criticism, if you really want to feel beautiful, you need to go out and feel beautiful on your own because it's obvious that you frequently need that by the frequent freaking selfies you're posting. So you don't feel beautiful and them telling you isn't enough because you keep doing it. You need to work on yourself. We all have issues. We all need to work on ourselves. That's just kind of, you know, it's nice for someone to tell you're pretty. That's, I will give anybody that. Like, and I'll get on there and tell my friends they're pretty and, and beautiful and whatever. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with posting a selfie. Just not all the time. And there are certain ways to do it. I'm not going to respect the fallen soldiers by a selfie. I'm not going to respect Martin Luther King Jr. with a selfie. I'm not gonna be like wishing mothers out there happy Mother's Day. With you don't need my face as a Mother's Day. That's not making your Mother's Day better. It's not like, oh my God, that's what I wanted for Mother's Day was to see your face. There's somebody needs to write a code of selfie ethic. We're in the same vein of like beauty standards and like constantly posting and stuff like that. We also have like face tuning and editing that pictures and stuff like that. Filters are one thing. Like a light filter to slightly change, you know, that's one thing. But to do these editing tools where they're like slimming out their jaw, they're lifting their chin, they're removing the eye bags. If you have a wart or a gnarly John Boy mole going on, you can remove that. So my thing is, is that if you see that in some pictures, how is it she's got a wart on her face in this picture, but it's not in that picture? Okay, if you're really that conscious <clears throat> about the mole, doctors can remove that. Just go get it removed. Seeing that inconsistency and feeling the need to edit kind of, I don't know, it's very sad to see in a lot of people because a lot of people don't need it. Well, and like, they feel like they do and it makes me sad. You have these women out there, these women who are real and authentic and they're not afraid to just be themselves on social media. So they'll post a selfie. I love those selfies when they're like, just, they're 100% They're them. just real. They're, they're real. They're not looking for compl uh, compliments. They're just posting a selfie. But then you have the frequent flyers that are looking for the compliments, but they're editing to the point where they look perfect. Everybody is on there telling them how gorgeous they look. And it's just downright unattainable in real life. And it's fake. Yeah. Okay, you might be gorgeous <clears throat> in real life, but you just altered your face to the point to where this woman, who's not afraid to post her real face, and be herself is comparing herself. Now, granted, that's something with her and her. She needs to not compare. I don't think some women weren't aware that there are these apps out there you can edit your face like that. You know, they're not aware of that. So they see these girls and they're like, I'll never look like that. Rest in peace, my dear, because that girl doesn't even look like that. You're getting compliments on something that's not real. Just be real. That's my thing about social media. Just be real. Be real, but don't post everything. Yeah, be real, but don't vomit on Facebook. You know, there's some things that don't need to be on there, but if, but if you're going to be on there, be real. I'm not going to be like, 
dogging my kids all day. I've made them cry. We've been hating on each other behind closed doors, but then I'm like, hold on, we gotta post for selfie real quick. <laughs> I love my boy. Here, mom, I know I just snuck out last night, but we need to take like a really good picture. Can you help me? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, can we use the editing thing to mark out where I blacked your eye for... Yeah, for sure. Talking back? Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, great. Okay. Just... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment if you guys want a part two. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to click the cute little thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. We hope that you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys next video. Bye.